So it's Sunday morning and I'm all alone in the house. But apart from the dogs who are fast asleep because they've been out for the WALKs. Um, and I found myself sat at my desk pondering what my plans will be for the coming week. Uh, and I just started doodling with pencil and look what I've ended up drawing. Um, rather cute kind of stick man. Um, and I thought, well, rather than waste it, I'll just turn the camera on. Um, and because I've been doing some projects recently where I'm using stuff that's been in my stash for ages that I don't use very often, I thought I'd dig out these. Um, now these are Dela Rowney Acrylic Artist Inks. Um, and each one of these colours has a, um, a pipette, a dropper attached so that you can either brush or drop the colour down onto the paper or, or do what with. Um, now the reason I don't use these very often is because the, these pipettes are pretty rubbish, they're, they're pretty crap. Um, so, but what I thought I would do today is I would use some of them, um, but the lighter colours. Maybe just to put a little bit of a background on this, so um, let's just pull some out. So I've got raw sienna, I'm hoping the camera's picking that up, let me just make sure that it is actually focused. Raw Sienna, there we go, I can read it properly now. So that's Raw Sienna. So that's kind of a creamy yellowy colour. So let's just stick with yellows for the time being. Um, and I do have somewhere, I thought there was a yellow ochre. Yeah, there is a yellow ochre, there we go. So that's yellow ochre. Okay. Um, and then we'll have a little darky olivey greeny colour, which is, oh that says antelope brown, that's not the right one is it? Olive green, there we go, that's more like it, I just need a, a bit of a shake up because I've not used these for a long time. So olive green. Uh, and then we'll just have maybe a little browny colour, I've got obviously the raw sienna, so we've got sepia, burnt umber, sepia is more of a reddy brown, don't really want that, ah now that's more like it, uh, this one's called antelope brown, so that'll be perfect I think, there is another yellow in there which is a real jazzy kind of bright in your face yellow which is brilliant yellow, um, and there is strangely enough a white so I might just leave that out just for lightening areas up um, so that's five colours all within the same kind of colour realm so I'm gonna get some kitchen towel a couple of slices of couple of slices a couple of sheets Tell I've only had one cup of coffee this morning so far. <laughs> Sunday morning and he's only had one coffee. What could possibly go wrong? Um, Because I'm probably going to get a little bit messy. Because we're going to do some runs. I think. Right, so let's start then with the lighter colour. So let's start with this raw sienna. So let's some air in. We'll give it a... a a shake up earlier and let's just see what happens. Okay, so that's the raw sienna. Next let's get the yellow ochre. Okay, so let's start off with those two and I'm going to introduce some water. Now that was almost like magic, wasn't it? The way it just immediately just started to wick. Okay, I like that. 
I'm going to have to put something underneath the book just to keep it level. That's not big enough. Put that taper on it. Oh, there we go. That's just going to hold it in position, I think. Let's just. Now I've got some. That's it. A couple of drops. I kind of like that. I like the way it's kind of just kind of flowing into each other. So let's just try and remove some of the excess water. Just let that flow a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to start to add a little bit of heat to it. So it's starting to go. Let's grab some more kitchen towel. I like these kind of ad hoc projects where you don't really know where it's going. It just happens to do its thing. I'm just breaking up those pigmentation kind of blocks. I'm just letting the water soak into the paper enough where it's not going to take long to dry. Okay, so that's pretty much all but dried. So, but I'm just going to leave that for a few minutes. Um, just to kind of cool down as well and then I'll be right back plus it gives me a chance to finish my cup of coffee okay so it's been a few minutes I'm going to turn the journal around and this time I'm going to bring in um, some of that olive green and this time I'm going to go from the bottom and then do the same thing towards the top but I'm only going to use some really small drops. Maybe there. Because obviously you don't need a lot, as that's just shown. It's like a pigment bomb, isn't it? <laughs> just lift that up a little bit just to kind of encourage it to run upwards and I think I want a little bit more actually so let's drop some into the water see what happens <laughs> oh Pigment's obviously not quite as strong as the yellows. Maybe now we've got a little bit too much there. Let's just remove a little bit of that. And I'm just looking at it and thinking, where do I want the colour to go? I don't particularly want it to come too far up. So once it's pretty much done its journey, I think I'm going to just set it. So while that's still wet, let's grab that antelope brown. I'm just going to get a really, really small amount. That'll do. Okay. Maybe just a little bit more green. sideways and go back there we go and then go up oh let's run all the way down but that's okay 
I'm just going to dab that off. And that's not done any kind of ghosting at all on there. Because these are acrylics, they're kind of permanent when dry. So I don't mind that. Don't mind that these have crept up this way. So let's introduce a little bit of heat again. Right, I think for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to leave in the drying process on fast forward, so you can actually see just exactly um, where I kind of let the water run and how I heated it up to make sure that it, you know, it, it was in the places where I wanted it to be. Now I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny little piece of the green, just popped it on my mat there. I've got some water here. I'm just going to mix it just to kind of get rid of those little areas where the clips were. There we go, just kind of disguises those for no other reason. Okay, so we have a real kind of, let me just see if I can zoom out a little bit. There we go, just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, so we have a really kind of chaotic, abstract kind of background. So now I'm going to come in with some white just to kind of break up and see what happens in those kind of darker areas. I'm not going to do any splats, any splatters. I'm just going to see what happens with that white. We're kind of getting little halos. So not a lot really. I think that's just where the pigmentation sits in those Let's just let it sit in the water then, like we would do with a watercolour. And then just heat that and see what happens. So the white doesn't really do much at all, really, which is fine. Don't mind that. Um, don't really want to add any red into that. I think I'm going to be done with those inks so let's just pop them away and then I think I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Right so grab my inks. I think actually that's my newest ink pad isn't it? Those down there at the bottom, and then uh, what stamp sets have I got here? Oh, perfect. Okay, so I've got this one. Um, Be different by Asher Marquette. All right. So obviously, I haven't used this one before. So it's in a pile <laughs> of stamps that I've done, um, my word stamps, journal words and journal phrases, um, and these are obviously just tucked in with them. Um, I've had the intention of using them, but never got round to it. So let's just let's just see. So that's that one there. So that kind of shape there. So let me just turn that so it's about here. Yep. And then turn it around and bring it down here. And then I think I'm going to do it over here. Lovely. OK, 
Okay, so that's that one. And I'm going to bring in that larger one here. Will that still fit? Yeah, that'll still fit. And what I'm going to do is just ink it up. And then I'm going to try and sort of connect them. Because I think we can. Yeah, kind of like that. And then at the bottom, we've got ones that look like, sort of look like plants, which is perfect. So, do I need a, do I need a skinny mini? I think I might do for this. So let me just get. Yeah, I think that one's going to fit. Try and free it from its ring. There we go. I have all my little stamping blocks hung up on book rings. So all right, so let's do that towards the bottom. I don't mind that. And what's that one there? That's just a kind of grunge, bit of grunge. I don't mind a bit of grunge. So let's just ink that up. And then we can just add in some grunge here and there. Just because. Let's turn that around. And I'm not even pressing down hard. There we go. So I'm not even getting a full, um, full impression. So like that. And then let's put those stamps to one side and then I'm just going to, what do the word stamps say? be different it's good enough sign as a good enough saying as any so i'll just put them onto the block and see will that fit in that space there it will just above our figure's head so we might as well go ahead and just stamp that Inking up massively. That'll do. Alright, so I've practically used all of the stamps on that stamp set. So I'll just drop them back on there. I'll put them away properly later. I actually kind of like that circle one with a, with a cross on it as well. It's very versatile, this stamp set. Do quite a lot with it, I think. Let's just add some of those little crossed circles. How very random, How very random indeed. Okay, so I'm going to just give that, that ink a quick blast with my heat gun, just to make sure that it is nice and dry. Excellent. Okay, so we can get rid of that lot now. 
I'm going to the recycling for pull pin. This is nearly spilling his coffee. Right, so I've got some Pigma Micron pens here. So I want, I want, I want, I need to find the one that's got the, yeah, now then, either that one or the number five, I think is the largest. Uh, a bit of scrap paper, need some scrap paper. There we go, a bit of a card kicking about. Let's see what we've got. So PN, pen nib, these are archival ink ones, and the five, pretty much the same actually, they're about the same size. So that's cool. So I've at least got two if one runs out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do just some kind of scribbly drawing like I did do to start off with. I don't want the figure to be resolved as in a perfect kind of like drawing. I want it to be scrabbly, I want it to be rough drawn. Because when you draw kind of like abstract figures, particularly when you're doing kind of art journal pages, having kind of like a free flowing, free form, scribbly character on your page is, is, is good. It doesn't always pay to try and do everything neat. It's good to sometimes see where you've changed your mind. Um, in painting, um, where you can, when they, they start to like x-ray paintings these days, and you can see where the artist has changed their minds in the composition, it's called pentamente and it shows the workings of the artists, you know, the, the, the inner kind of like brain workings of how they kind of worked out the composition and what didn't, and they've moved hands or they've, they didn't like the position of the ear and they've moved it. And I kind of like that because it also shows, you know, that you, you, you weren't particularly happy with the drawing before you started. So, and I kind of like that. Right, so, and I kind of like my figure as he is. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if I can bring in some other colors. Um, I don't know whether it's gonna work because we're using them on top of acrylics. So I might need to use some color like the Faber-Castell pit pens, which again, I've had in my stash for so long. These are some of the first products I ever bought. Um, now they did say they were gonna phase out the big brush ones, but apparently they've reissued them. Um, so thank you to Alien for, in Germany, for letting me know that they've kind of like reissued these ones. Um, so Sanguine, that's a kind of ready brown, Sanguine, ready brown. So, we can sort of start to colour in a little bit. These are India ink, so 
they're actually um, while they're still wet you can kind of sort of blend them it's only when they kind of dry yeah I think I'm actually starting to maybe get maybe this is getting a little bit dark let's just try and line it up a little bit yeah too light I didn't think so what colour is that one? cold grey I don't think that's going to show up no it's not now the only way I'm going to get anything to show up on those is by either doing colours that are different so to warm it up like adding pink like that which is a contrasty colour to make it pop which I don't mind just to give it a little bit of a lift because it's kind of sketchy then you don't have to be perfect or exact so that pink's worked really well adding that little bit of warmth to it so let's see whether we can add Ooh, look at that some nice orange we're not actually losing anything in that background by adding these kind of colours probably get away with adding some blue which on top of the green at the top of the yellow is going to let us go a bit greeny but that's fine I like that. I like that a lot. So much so that I think I'm going to add some of that colour into our man. broken the lid that's fine I actually like that uh, let's bring in a little bit of yellow like it do you know what I think I'm gonna leave it there 
I'm definitely going to leave it there. But what I will do, just to finish it off, is I will just sign it, but this time, because it's all kind of scrabbly, and I'm going to put that in a box, just like the rest. Like it, and then I'll put today's date, whatever it is. Um, Sunday the 30th of July, 30th of July. There we go. So let's just put 37 23. I like it. I like it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this kind of ad hoc um, book she, as some would say, art journal page. Um, if you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.